Hey guys, today we're going to build a simple staircase in Java without using any advanced logic. We're just trying to, you know, throw out an output like this as soon, like, you know, as fast as possible. So first we got to make a for loop and uh, you want to start off with obviously for int i equals, we should say one because, you know, you don't want a blank space in the beginning. You want to start off with whatever you're trying to output. I should be less than you know, whatever number you want, like less than or equal to, let's just say five. So it's five units long and then I plus plus. So if we out first, let's just uh, put the braces around and do system dot out dot print. Don't put LN because we want to just purely focus on the asterisks here. As you can see, we're just printing the asterisks in quotations. Uh, so if we run this, we should just simply get a flat line of five. Yeah, that's good. So, well, now we're going to have to make it two dimensional, right? So we do for int call it J because we can't have it be the same as I equals, let's start it with one again, because now we're trying to do the second dimension. And you know, you also want to start it with one. See the fast way to do this. If you're just trying to output a quick staircase, you just do J is less than or equal to I so that no matter what it will always be it will never exceed I and therefore would always build a diagonal staircase if we didn't put that limit and if we just said J is less than or equal to 5 it would just build a box essentially so we're just cutting that in half by saying J is less than or equal to I and obviously J plus plus because we're increasing and now we can put the braces around there keep the uh, output statement within the braces of the second for loop. But if we do this, it's not going to output correctly, or at least the way we want it to be. Because if we run this, it's just going to do it yeah, all in a straight line. So how do we get past that? Well, we need to know every time it goes through the amount of loops in the inner for loop, uh, after it finishes that like uh, condition, we need to also system.out.print ln just blank, you know, just for the blank line. So after it's done printing the necessary amount per line, it will go on to the next line, if you know what I mean. So if we run this, there, you got your simple uh, staircase. It starts at one, ends at five, as we said, all the conditions are met. And again, I'll make another video doing a different way. And using the other logic, you can reverse the staircase to push it the other way. And yeah, so essentially, this is it. It's just one embedded for loop and you print the asterisks and you have a blank space after you print it. So yeah, that's about it. I mean, uh, if you have this on the AP exam, I mean, you can pretty quickly recognize it with this kind of format and uh, yeah, see ya.